Hello and welcome to Three Sheets One Shot. I'm already two sheets in. What about you, Joe? <laughs> uh, not quite, but 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 hey, I'm headed. He's heading there. That's great. See, I didn't say awesome, Banana Brothers. See, they, they say I say awesome too much. Um, welcome to our uh, the new season of Three Sheets One Shot with my wonderful co-host joe big old joe on twitter and of riff and rabble fame um yep, yep, yep. we are excited to get back to the basics of this story writing platform we're going to just write a one shot it's not going to have anything to do with the banana brothers mostly because their first arc is written and i have no idea where they're going from there so we better not write any more until we know so we're just going to do one shot the whole the reason why we started this whole stream in the first place um so, Joe, you want to talk about Riff and Rabble real quick? Uh, sure. Riff and Rabble is a D&D group with me and for my good, good friends. And we play D&D every Saturday. Uh, we're currently working through the Storm King's Thunder. I play a dwarf. We've got the pretty pretty standard setup. A uh, dwarf, a wizard, a cleric, and a druid. And, and we're having great fun. It's, it's great. You should come by and, and see us. Uh, and Drake says I do a really good dwarf voice. So if, yes, if, phrase, if phrase were <laughs> ever needed. Yes, you do. Very much so. Um, okay, so let's get started on this story. Um, really easy. I'm not going to even go over any ads or anything. You saw the ads circulating at the very beginning of the stream, and um, we only have an hour, so I want to get to the story. Um, but I will shout out my patrons, because February is Patron Month, and I am encouraging everyone who is considering becoming a patron to head over to my patron link, and I can... I can type that here, I think. If, if, see if it'll work. I have no idea if it's going to work. I, I have no idea what commands I've set up. Um, but the link is below in, in the area down there. Um, I find that I get a much more bang from my buck from my um, patrons. And um, so I really encourage anyone who wants to support the stream to go there. And even if it's just a dollar a month, that helps a lot. That helps tremendously. So I really appreciate all my patrons at any level but we do have a um, contest not contest sort of like a, a, a pledge drive going on where if we get we have 12 patrons now if we get to 14 we're gonna give away guess what this handmade dice bag that I made myself and I'm not a dice bag person but um, wow. but I made it myself and it holds quite a quite a lot of uh, dice and it has this little toggle thing I don't know I just bought it at the store and um, made it, and it has a lot of carrying capacity. But guess what goes inside? A set of Swamp Golem Die Hard Dice, and that'll be our first giveaway, but we hope to have a giveaway for every two Elder Plus patrons who sign up. So that's as much as I'm gonna say. Let's get on with our story. I have, I have a question. Yes, can empl question? Can, can employees no. enter? No, you oh. are dis you're disqualified as an empl employee, Dukes. but you are a patron, so you qualify! <laughs> <laughs> All patrons uh, in February, at, at any level, are automatically entered into any contest for the month of February. I feel like we're doing a PBS pledge. I drive. know, any, I know. Like, and any pledge $5, you I get know. a PBS tote. I know. But and 12 seasons of this old house. <laughs> uh, but ancient ancient dragon kin and by the way i have three ancient dragon kin now thank you guys so much um they actually get entered twice because they already they always get one entry but since i've opened a gift to everybody i need to give them an extra one so um yeah if you're a patron you don't even have to be present to win but you know i kind of want you to be here so awesome um okay so let's get on with the story let's tell a story let's tell a, let's write a campaign um first thing we need uh we're gonna skip the title and the subtitle as you see on the screen we're gonna skip uh, the adventure, the summary of the adventure, because we don't know how to summarize it yet. But let's figure out who an our antagonist is going to be. Uh, and I've 
defined antagonist as a creature or object that must be defeated to earn the reward. So let's okay, all right. Well, let's think about well, that. Well, you got a, a whole bunch of different like I got my type but and defeated. Going. Defeated how? Are we talking about combat? Are we talking about you just could be a talk puzzle? Them? Could be a puzzle. Talking them puzzle, off a yeah. ledge, yeah. Could so be anything. like, well, like so like the classic. We just we just make this make this whole one shot. Just a sure. classic. Sure, a classic dungeon crawl. Why not? Yeah. Let's do that. A so, classic dungeon crawl. So what's the big bad in a classic game of D and D? Like an orc. Like, well, are we starting uh, at level one, or are we starting? Where are we starting the levels? Because that's going to matter could for. Be, could be level one. Sure, sure, that works. All right. So, what's a good big bad evil guy, gal, uh, for uh, a level well, one for level one characters? Let's see, gnolls aren't too bad. No, no, that'd be good. Let me see if I've got my handy dandy. Let's uh, see what the CR rating is for a gnoll. Oops, did I cover your face? Sorry about that. Admirer. Might actually bring in some more and viewers. Now. Joining the party. I don't know Hi, why this Jogu. is over on that side. I'm gonna move that. Undead. It it's always a good, uh, always a Undead. good. Undead. Uh, Great. Uh, in the boss. Yeah, that's true. Very, very true. Okay, I've got the page for Null pulled up. Let's make a let's make a guess. Is it gonna be Matt Mercer or who do you think's doing the voice? Oh, who's, uh, who's reading the word? I don't know. That seems kind of an easy one. Let's I'm gonna, see. I'm gonna guess Matt. I'll say Marisha just because you said Matt. And it was Marisha. Ha <laughs> I win. I won. All right, so um, and what level? What CR is the the, the troll? Troll or no? No. No. You know, L L. All right. Hey, Choco, you had fun too, baby. <laughs> challenge is challenge is one half, so that's good. That's not bad that's for really... level ones, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, a null den. Mm -hmm. Why not? All right, so what do these gnolls do? Is there a well, null chief? A null chief, did you say? Or some null leader? Or? They do have leaders. Uh, they have an hunter. interesting ability called Rampage. That's always fun. Uh, a null, null pack hunter lord? would work. Oh, that sounds like a big old bag. Yeah, let's see how what, high, what level they are. They're level two. Well? Now, see, I like, I like having... Not Fights. level. Like, I know. Don't say. I won't say level. I'll say CR because I know it's not level. But yeah, go ahead, Joe. I like having um, that are slightly above the party level. So, like I in agree. this case, let, 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 let's say CR equates to a uh, uh, party level. level it, it, yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't quite equal out right. evenly. But for right. the sake of conversation, let's say that CR and and relative party level yes are are comparative. So, if we were going to start at a relative party level of one, I enjoy putting creatures that would pose a challenge but not be so hard that the party had no hope. I agree. I agree completely. In fact, just the other night, guess what I threw at my level three characters? Uh, Lich. Ah, oh, Kraken. Ah, ooh. And a water elemental. But they had, they had a little bit of help. Uh, and they're still fighting, so I'm not going to say how it ends. Um, but okay, so we have a null pack lord, <clears throat> and they have a lot of hit points, so we better make sure that maybe the, our our players' characters get some help along the way, maybe, or something drops that maybe help them, or maybe the the pack lord is injured in some way, or I don't know. We'll figure something out. Okay, so let's go back to our story. I have put a null pack lord. What did this null pack lord do to tick off the um, the, to, to tick off the person who's going to give the reward for defeating him? And yes, Drake, you are correct. We should consider the number of of player characters. Um, maybe this this would be like a dungeon for yes, yeah, three, always... three to four players. Yeah, I usually always write with three to four. Yeah. in mind. All right, so I'm gonna just say three to four players, and we'll write the summary later. But that's what we'll we'll keep in the back of our heads. All right, so what what has the uh, evil what evil deed has this antagonist done that must be corrected or rectified? What should we have him do? Well, he could uh, could have attacked. You know, classically, he could have attacked caravan. Oh. Uh, and, you know, you you could be you be you could be going out to like either like rescue the caravan members, like maybe the caravan <laughs> leader got a what. Drake, it's a null, <laughs> so they have to be killed. 
I like the caravan idea. Let's say that this this um, pack lord has a, a gang, a gang, clan, posse. What are, what are gnolls? How do they travel? What do they travel in? Um, uh, tribe. Tribe probably works. Pack probably pack, works. Pack, so yeah, pack, pack, I would say. So this pack of gnolls is has been terrorizing a small village near a larger town, and the person in charge of the town, the the constable there, has decided that he needs to send an adventuring party out to to rid the the main road of these marauding pack lords that are are are, are attacking caravans. I like that. Perfect. Works so what part of we are starting from from um, scratch with starting just exactly the way we plan to do this all along which is just a one shot campaign however it's going to be homebrew and it's going to be in the world of Amonrath and I, as I told Joe earlier when we were discussing what we were doing tonight um, it was because I've already got the map written and there's so much of it that is unexplored so it'll be fun to kind of fill in the gaps of that area. So I went ahead and put a map of Amonrath here for you on the screen. Uh, and I actually left, I took some DM notes out so that any of my players like Anchoku, <laughs> since he's in the, in the stream right now, can't see certain spoilers. Uh, don't, that only don't the worry, DM don't worry, I, I, I got it. I, I, sent me a copy too. <laughs> I did I'll send totally you a copy. Totally slide it your way. <laughs> don't do no, that. Just kidding. I would never do that. No, no, no. Uh, and Chucky's on his own as much as I like him. Yeah, no, uh, no. But yeah, there's cer certain qualities on that DM map that I don't want my players to see yet. But this is the this is sort of the DM light, and I went ahead and left the the climate on there, so just so that we would have an idea, like where would Knowles live? Probably anywhere from continental to tropical. So pretty much the entire map we can have them from. Um, so let's pick up a, a place on this map. You're looking. I sent you a copy, Joe, so you don't have to look at Twitch. I'm looking at it look now. At, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of liking. I'm kind of liking these heel. This heels. These feet. No. These um hills over here on the right. Um, kind of just to the left of Grand Mora Lake. You see, like the like there's a mountain, oh, and then another yes. mountain and in between them. There's some hills. Yep. Yep. And I don't know. Maybe there could be a trade route in there. Maybe Perfect. like between. You know, in that in that area. There's I definitely. Down, and I'm not sure if it's on the map. Yep. Sure so there's definitely down. a road from Granlin to Maston. Now, Granlin yes. is the capital city for the halflings. Um, and oh, actually for the gnomes, but halflings now live there because their city of Miramor ha, uh, was half um, submerged when that. How's that built going? By yeah, the way? yeah, you know, just let's not bring up that sort. Sort. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get to it eventually. I promise. But uh, yeah, Miramor still stands as a as a pink tower of of foam yet to be carved. Um, but I, I'll get to it, I promise. But there is a road from Granlin to Maston. And Maston is a, an arcane magic city. And it's actually a city that Drake came up with um, way back when we first started one of our campaigns and had characters, by the way, who are still lost somewhere in the Thargo Mountains to the north trying to defeat a, the Burund Pass. Anyway, long story, they're still <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> Stuck up there in the Sargul Mountains to the north, but um, they there is a road, a major road that travels from Granlin to Mason. Now, if you're following D and D with the Banana Brothers, our our halfling bard didn't travel from Granlin to Mason to Ravenscroft. He went around. He went around the Granlin River, the Granmore Delta, the lake, and then headed west to Ravenscroft because he did not want to go anywhere near Miramore. So he kind of took a uh, a fool's errand further east before he turned and then went west. Um, but there is a trade route. So yeah, we could definitely have uh, the, the gnome leader or even some major wizard. I have written nothing about Maston. So maybe that's where we should start. Maybe this sure. pet lord has come out of the mountains like you said, right there from the Grand Mora Delta. I think I can use my mouse on the screen. The Grand Mora Delta, um, somewhere between there and Maston. So let's do that. Yeah. Let's have someone in Maston. We, and I, like I said, I have not written anything about Maston except one of my previous players uh, showed up there accidentally one time. And that's as much as I've written about that. So let's do that. Okay, yeah. works for me. Drake has ideas for Mason, so we're going to get him involved in this. This is perfect. Um, 
So the evil deed that our big bad evil raiding no caravans. has done is raiding uh, caravans I got outside. This, I got this weird note on my map. The DM map, it just says, this is where Anchoku's character dies. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just, I... Shh! Don't tell oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. on the Ilke. He did fall over twice uh, last episode uh, overboard. It was hysterical. And Choco, you unhear that. The, the, <laughs> yeah, you, sure. You, 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 give me those, you give me those listens back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he was the the the, the raiding caravans. Uh, I'll say his um, his pack of gnolls. Wow, I cannot spell tonight. Has been raiding caravans outside the city of Mayston. and an arcane is heavy arcane, like. It's heavy arcane magic. I'm gonna like that. Like 200 pounds, 300 pounds. <laughs> of... No, what are we talking about? Like like floating towers? Yes. And like, like imagine. Cars. Imagine. Uh, what's the city in in World of Warcraft that uh, that oh, floats? Uh, um. Uh oh. <laughs> Stop my fat shaming my Mason. <laughs> Dr it's... Mason was Drake's idea, so this is. Dal Dalaran, yes, yeah, thank there you. It is. Okay, yeah, Dalaran. A, he a heavily oh. arcane uh, magic uh, city um, full of um, uh, wizards, a high, a high wizards, like really, etc. Uh, so I don't even have a leader for this city. So um, the environment in this case, and what kind of landscape environment, it would be. What did I say that area was? It is it's like a like a wooded hills, you know, yes. like a like um. It's a uh, temperate like zone. Barren. Yeah. Yes. Um. So it's a a temperate. Uh, forested. Uh, path no road. Um, from Granlin to uh, Mason. Uh, well, it's well traversed, but um, the area to the east is forested, and the area to the west uh, is a sort of like a not beachy, but more plains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, yeah. near Mason, it gets kind of it got that little river that goes um, down from the Bellspar Depths down. Uh, just to the west of Mayston. So it's kind of got a little bit of a, of a plains area, grasslands maybe. Yeah, they're kind of like on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Grasslands. Okay, so that helps us with any kind of other creatures that we want to throw at them before they get to the BBEG. All right, so who has sent our party on this adventure? Oh, so 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 oh, they're, boy. Here they, we go. they're coming from Mayston. Yes. Oh, Drake got a good name. Drake, yeah, Drake. Drake. This was his city. This was a city that he actually introduced to me to be put on the map of Amonrath because he had really a lot of ideas for this one. So I have no problem letting him uh, what, what uh, run, the, run leader, the chat. What would the leader's um, title be? Would 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 the leader of Mayston be like the Maestro of Mayston or like the Mayston Maestro or something like that? I'm just making. Uh, it you're you're so funny because Maestro to me says Maestro to me says music or bards. Um, nothing but high wizards. <laughs> All right, Anchoku, I think you're high right <laughs> Amazon. now. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, we we have an Amazon going on. Uh, that's in uh, Ravenscroft. How about something like it was a council, um, and I'm looking over here to the to chat because I have two screens going. So, but I would say that the 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 the, the leader of the council would be a high wizard, some sort of uh, titled. I don't want to use grand because that's actually the grand tinker is someone who's in charge of Granlin. He's a gnome. I don't yeah. want to use grand t uh, the word grand, but something. Well, you know what I did? I pulled up right here. I've got, that's not it. I pulled up here, my, the Thorith. And, uh, there you go. There's your, there's your, there's your name. Health of and with the Maston High Council. 
Uh, oh yeah, Kalia. A half elf and druid. It was she was just the one on the council though, right? She was just one of them. She wasn't the leader. She but, but she was on the council for sure. Um, grand. Marvelous works. I like the word marvelous. Mar who said marvelous? Did you say? Oh, did, did you see, see that on the no, screen? It's right there at the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> marvelous. Marvelous is a good, the marvelous master no, that of that sounds mace. like that sounds like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love the Wizard of Oz. No, we have to get something a little more. Oh, here it says it's a chief. Um, not chief. Modern major general. I'll ask my document on Google Docs. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, taken from the home of ancient lore of Mason, yeah. <laughs> Chiefest, no. Dandy, no. Deluxe, dignified. Dandy. <laughs> a magisterial would work. Something along magisterial, uh, yeah. a magistry or something. No. Well, no, we're we looking for like administration or leadership. Leader, like, like leadership. It. Yeah. Like, um, you imagine what? I had some points on, yeah. Yeah, that's how I mentioned it too, that the council runs the city, but there has to be someone in charge of the council. I don't want emperor, um, or exalted. Should, just be called, should, should be called the council lord. You know, like, like okay. he's not the lord of the city, but he's the lord of the council. He'd just be called the council lord. Or the- he or, or she, or whoever it is. Yeah, all right, so, uh, I don't know if I want to use the word Lord because I use Lord as uh, Lord Ravenscroft. But we could, why don't we just look up the word Lord and find a different meaning for that then too. Maybe, maybe the um, leadership in Mason are like super jealous of the leadership in Ravenscroft. <laughs> so they're like, you know what? No, we're having that. We're stealing your Lord and we're going to call our person Lord. But you know what? We're going to go one step further. We're going to call him Council Lord. Just stick that in your pipe and sm How about Marquis? <laughs> yeah, Marquis. <laughs> Sure, After Marquee. you go through all that. <laughs> yeah, let's do a marquee. It's fine. All right, so now I need a, uh, something oh, from drink. the chat. Or Marchioness would be if it was a uh, someone who identifies as female. No judging here. Uh, known as, yes. You need to send me this doc, and we need to work off this doc, is what, I, uh, is what I'm hearing. Um, the marquee would be she sat on the high council of mason because of her powerful druidic ability and prophetic nature yes that's true because i do know what her prophet her prophecy prophecies were um and i can't say it because it has to do with his other character one of his other characters that runs around in this in this land i've got a lot of parties running around in this land um turn it into like a wow server it, it is it really is it is okay so uh the mark the marquee or the marchioness uh who should it be? Let's think of a name. Who wants to shout out a name? Would a bunch of wizards have any leadership skills? I mean, they're all wizards. Well, yeah, that's fine. Some of them aren't all, you know, banana brothers. Some of them are like Dumbledores or... or well, uh, let me let me pull up my favorite name generation website in the whole wide world. That's fantasynamegenerators.com. Oh, it's you a great mean website. this one right here? Wizard names. I've got it right there. Wizard name generator. Ooh. Olivior. Uh, Aranen. Ooh, these are good. Really good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on neutral. Avalyn. I don't want something. Max. Else. How would you pronounce this word? M A X Y L L. Maxel? Maxel. Maxel. I like that. I actually kind of like that. Let's use that. Yeah, I kind of like Maxfield. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so... It kind of has like a Welsh ending, that Y-L-L. -L. Yeah, M-A-X-Y-L-L. -L. Yeah. Marquis Maxil. Uh, and wizards in Mason don't have surnames. How about that? It's of something. Of what? What is his, what is his domain? Uh, Do what wizards have like... domains? Well, uh, yeah, they can. What uh, they, they could be like general practitioners or, or, or like you know gastroenterologists. Yeah, what are the wizards. schools? Someone say it. Someone give me a wizard uh, school. You got abjuration, yeah. Conjuration? abjuration, div okay. divination, conjuration. So he is. Um... Oh, you no, a necromancer? necromancer. <laughs> no, don't say necromancer. We're gonna. Rylan's Rylan. not be here. here Rylan's not here. Let's do. Um... I don't know. What do you think? Conjuration. Sure. I think you just summoned him with Necromancer. I think you did. 
Yeah, he'll be here in just in a second. In just a second. As soon as he heard Necromancer, he was like, someone summoned me. Um, let's do Conjuration. Um, how about Maxwell the Conjurer? Yeah, works for me. Yeah, Marquis Maxwell the Conjurer. He is the uh, head of the council, high council. Oops. Boy, I can't spell. Council of Mason. Okay. I have to put that as a capital letter. Oop. Well, that's not the right letter. There we go. High Council of Mason. Okay. Um, School of Fire Bombing. You know, Anchoku, I need to. We need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I am surprised that the ship they're currently on has not burst into flames at this point. Although it didn't help that he was thrown overboard twice. So maybe all his firewood is wet. I don't know. Okay. Um, pick, ooh, picky vocation. Yeah, because we said no. Now it's definitely conjuration after that. All right. So Maxwell the Conjurer. He's the head of the High Council of Mason. Um, and he... Uh, is who might aid and or reward them. Well, let's just say that the city's going to reward them. Yeah. 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 Uh, he will reward um, the party, and I'll leave it blank for now. Gold and, and whatever other stuff. We'll just put a question mark. Um, okay, so first twist. Is there a twist to this adventure? Or is it just basic? Is it just going to be basic? Go to the gnolls, go into their cave, get to the back of the cave, find the, the gnoll pack lord and slay him and you get bring it back his head and get the reward. What if, like, the twist is... Uh, okay, I, I can immediately think of two twists. What if one of the twists is the gnoll pack lord was really working for a bigger big bad Ooh. and... Dun dun dun! Yes. They're the ones behind everything. Or, 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 as an ultimate, the Null Pack Lord is only really attacking because they're, his his pack is completely out of food, so they're starving. So do Ooh. you, do you take the food back and let them die, or you know, or do you like give them the food, but like smack on the back of the wrists? Oh yeah, and that's a good um, that's a good yeah. Drake has a good twist alignment. Too problem the twist is they captured a human child and we're going to sacrifice it soon <gasps> Ooh, there's another twist see look i have two twists on here yeah they and, and really the the whole food thing i was kind of giving them a break because they're pretty much pure evil in 5e yeah nope, not nice yeah they're not they're not all. yeah you really kind of can't yeah uh they captured a human child we'll get into the name and, and age and everything in a little bit and we're preparing to sacrifice him, her, um, soon. Now, um, and that's probably what got their attention. They probably understood that the that they were able to kind of fight off anyone, any of the gnolls that came uh, along the road, or, or were able to satiate them with food or whatever to get rid of them. But once that child was captured, then the the mace and uh, the marquis said. We got to do something about this. We got to go save this child. I would like to. I would like to just point out Bravo's. Uh, hey, Dave. Uh, twist. If you were the Noel Pack Lord the whole time, ooh. That's some like Inception that would be fun. level mess. Like, wouldn't it be fun to send? Can you play Noel's? I think you can. I think there's a. a Let me look. A supplement, I think, that unless you play as monstrous races. I know there was one in 3.5, but I don't know if it made the transition over to... Uh, Let's see. Um, over to 5, uh, yeah. No, no. Monster, monster, monster. No, no. Who's got the no? Yeah. No, fine. No. No. Sort of. Nope. I think at least... No allies. Yeah. I I, I have, because of the, the love of my husband, he has, for Christmas, he finished off the rest of my... D and D Beyond uh, pack, so I have everything's open, so I don't see where you can play a knoll, but that would be hysterical. You have to excuse me, and apparently I need to drink more bourbon. That's what Bravo says. That's what Dave says. Yes, so, because you're so behind. I'm two sheets 
to to the wind, and you're only one sheet to the wind, so it's your turn to catch oh, up. I severely overpoured that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible to overserve yourself? <laughs> Dave, as much as I'd like to see this party be a, a full pack of gnolls, I don't know if that's possible, at least with my... <laughs> at least with the the uh, accessibility I have, so I don't know if I could do that. Maybe there's there could be someone who has gone out there and done a homebrew um, race of gnolls, but I don't want to get into everyone else's homebrew. I'll just stick with our own. And maybe we could do that one day. Create Did I see this? I see this NPCs next yeah. the next thing. Yeah. And I was just thinking that that would be a really good place to make the can like let, let's say you do the math and yes. the null pack lord plus his ability to summon hyenas and his ability to give other nulls rampage sure. and all this other stuff. Maybe the math winds up that he's a little too hard. Oh uh, yeah. Maybe the NPC is somebody they could meet, like a hunter who's already out tracking these gnolls. I like that. And he's like, Well, I'm already on the path of these gnolls, let us work together. Yep. Or maybe um, they find the hunter injured and the pack lord injured enough to where he can't do certain um, abilities and they have to A, save the hunter and B, finish off the pack lord who's not quite as strong as he would have been at full health, but that the hunter helped. Yeah, could be, could be. So we got that too. Okay. Uh, uh, what? If it's there, but that one first hunter, I oh I don't read if it's there, but that one had first PC monster races in five E. Did it? Hmm. I didn't. I'll see Google it. it real quick. You keep you keep typing. I'll Google it. I'll do the Google. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go back to the document while Joe Google's. That's that's a good idea. Okay. Um. So they're gonna meet. Let's say uh, a ranger. Uh, a ranger who has um, been injured while hunting um, the Noel Pack Lord, um, but has uh, been able to uh, reduce the gnolls hit points and or um, effectively removed its uh, uh, remove certain abilities because it is a CR 2 right yeah I'm gonna put that up there so I don't forget that's 450 XP, I think. If you go for XP, typically when I DM, I do milestone XP. Um, okay, Volos is where playable Goblin is. Yeah, but I, I didn't see a Knoll. In fact, I don't yeah, recall. I, I keep reading references being made to Volos Guides to Monsters. Yeah. But I don't have that source book. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have to take Dave. Drake's word on that. Congratulations, Knowles will put Knowles. Knowles what? You cut out. Knowles are playable because I don't have that source book, so we're taking Drake's word for it. Okay, they could be. They very well could be. Um, but he said goblin, so I don't know if it's if it's. We'll have to find it. That'll be another story. We'll do that for another story. Maybe the next time they meet up. Um, but in next the meantime, time. yeah. But next time, um. The gnolls hit points and or effectively removed the certain abilities by this ranger. So who is this ranger? Let's let's decide on this ranger. Um, give me a someone give me a race in in chat. Human. And he, you're not in chat. Human would make the most sense since it's really close to Ravenscroft, but there. Now okay. I'm in chat. Fine. Uh, drow. <laughs> Ooh, I like drow. drow. I like. Yeah. I like drow. Yeah. All right. Male or female or non-binary? What do you What do you say? Bravo, bravo, coming in with the with the with and the Chaku hard, gnome. Hard. No, gnome would make sense too, but I like I like drow because because then it's sort of a conundrum. Is it a evil drow or it's kind of hard to hard to say? 
Yeah, you did have a human ranger. I can't remember who that was. Whenever um, we have a whenever we have a human ra a human in any of our campaigns, I did it in my campaign. Uh, Callie will occasionally do it in um, our Storm King's Thunder. Yeah. Usually at my prompting, but anyway, uh, we, I I always call him Steve Human. Steve Human, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, uh, there you oh, go. He, Dave's got a human, human man. man. That's his last yeah. name. Human Steve man. Steve yeah. Human Man. Um, okay, well, let's look up drow names. Because we can do that on our handy dandy name. Oh, I love this website. I do Fantasynamegenerators.com. If you haven't been there before, head over there right now. It's yeah. a wonderful website. Fantasy names drow. Is there a, there's not a drow, but there's a dark elf, right? Uh, I yeah, there should be. Yeah. Dark, dark elf. Dark elf. Names. Yep. All right, let's make it a guy. Let's make it a guy. Um, ooh, those are those are a mouthful. Wow. Um, that th these names ooh. look like magnetic poetry thrown at a. At a <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I like Gidris, but that sounds kind of sissy for a drow, in my opinion. Let's do not. Let's do neutral names. Uh, Darvin. How about Darvin? I can't. I can't pronounce any of these. I'm trying to find one. <laughs> <laughs> Danknar. Yeah, one. actually, Danknar. Dave Dave said uh, Vundros. I like that. I like that a Vundros. lot. Vundros. Yeah, yeah like that, Vundros. that's a good one. Let's let's pick that. Um, and his name is uh, all right. Does he have a last name? You have a last name for Vundros? Um, it was on the previous page, but I didn't pick that last name. But Vund, I like Vundros. So we'll do Vundros, and it's a male. And he is um, very dark complected with um, black eyes and long black hair. How about that? Um, he is, what is his alignment? Is he, is he like um, Drist? Is he going to be like neutral leaning toward good or... Uh, I think rangers <laughs> tend towards neutral good. I'm not sure. Well, uh, also drow. Yeah. Well, true neutral. Dave does have a good has has a uh, good point. True neutral. All right. Yes, it's my keyboard. I'm sorry. I need to get a new keyboard. I have. I don't. This is not my. This is my laptop keyboard that I've plugged in. It's not my good one from upstairs because I don't feel like bringing it up and down every time and having to crawl underneath my desk to. Whatever. I just I need to add a new keyboard and actually a new mouse because I'm using a battery operated mouse and it doesn't even have you're a back doing, button. You're doing fine. Me and okay. Drake will get this sorted. You just keep right on going. All right. So um, long black hair, true neutral alignment. Um, oh, I like it. Long black hair. Yeah. I always see for see because I was long white I hair. Was, yeah. Yeah. Because of dress in that era. Yeah, it's always dressed. Oh yeah. Any drop, any oh drop. yeah. Drist. Um, I like the long black hair because it maybe it was he maybe that made it made him an outcast. Um, yeah. Yeah. He uh, the oh how about the uh, the the knolls were digging uh, deeper into uh, the earth um, to I don't know for whatever we don't know why to whatever and uh, started to encroach. To on a drow underdark? yeah on so how does the underdark work in your in your we world? have an like, underdark like... yeah cool. similarly um to you know the typ typical i haven't written a lot about it i know that um there's definitely an underdark area i can't say because the banana brothers haven't gotten there yet <laughs> 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 yet but there are a couple of underdark areas, but we'll make another one there too, because why not? It's that my was a world. heck of a uh, heck of a pull out from a nod too. <laughs> yes, Drake at level one, but he's helping. He's 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 actually injured, and they have to decide to, what to do. They've never seen a draw before. He's a dark elf, so this. He's a helper. He's he's a helper. He's helping. Okay, um, so what kind of creatures uh, are will our adventurers meet along the way? Let's just say gnolls. Let's just make them, you know, this is supposed to be a one shot. You know, they've already kind of encountered a couple of twists and turns. Yeah. Why throw a bunch of stuff at them? So typical gnolls, or as they say on Critical Role, regular gnolls. Uh, <laughs> regular gnolls, regular gnolls. Uh, gnolls. And uh, and the pack lord, if they get to him. You know, you could almost diverse. use, you could almost use the gnolls in this particular, like just the regular gnolls, 
Yep. You could use them as like a um, kind of like a divining method to find the pack lord. Like so, let's say oh, they you follow start like trails and stuff. Well, that and like let's say you start looking for the pack lord, yeah. and maybe their track is wrong. Like maybe they fail, oh, but instead of tell, uh, telling the players that they fail, maybe they only meet one null and not the pack. Oh, like, I oh see. well, this could be where they are because there's only one null out here, gotcha. so we gotta look again. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Um, perfect. I like that. Let general no. That uh, general no. Lieutenant no. Lieutenant <laughs> general no. <laughs> Someone is a How I Met Your Mother fan. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So we have a drow um, NPC who has. We are not sure. Maybe there's a twist to that. Um, we have to name this human child. Hopefully they save him or her. Let's make it a little girl, because you never want so gullible for a little girl. It's a, a little human, uh, human child, um, named what? Dave. Not Dave. I'm not going to have oh. a child, little girl named Dave. Even an unclassed one can wreck a party of level ones. Yeah, they could. He could, but maybe he's needs realizes he's so injured that he needs to team up with these maybe he's only a level one drow um and he needs to you know maybe he's a player character not a creature from i don't know i don't know Jake. It the works. more i i don't know Drake. the more i read about a pack lord i like it as a boss especially at level one yeah but i feel like they're gonna need the help of this drow because well, that's what i'm thinking the ability, to, the ability to summon hyenas the ability to like yeah. give other people that rampage ability. Oh yeah, which is no, it's deadly. Five E's version of cleave. It is deadly. So if we maybe have the the, the pack lord, if they can, if they can get him alone, like in the back after after his little army or packs have been defeated in previous areas of the the cave, uh, then they might have a chance. Especially if the if they heal the drow or or are able to assist him in some way and the drow's there to help, then maybe that'll help. So, um, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, it is, you're right. No, you're right. But in my world, I don't mind drow's being, you know, friendly. I mean, you know, it, it could, it could happen. It could be in the drist of my world, you know? It could be. Okay, so the human girl named Davia, what's her uh, surname? And is she any, is she significant? Is she the daughter of uh, one of the high council members? Ooh. You know yeah, what, Dave? Different. You've been watching too much Critical Role. <laughs> Dave's helping. And those Dave's are kobolds. <laughs> uh, okay, it's, it's, I'm trying to catch up with Chad here. Uh, Davia, um, the youngest daughter of of your your druid doesn't have a granddaughter or daughter does she drake <laughs> what about what what if what if da, what if davia is the youngest daughter of lord canada no <laughs> no must well be lord pineapple pizza let's see oh, um got fired <laughs> Shot Dave, Dave knows I love him. Okay. Uh, she does have a son, though. Yeah, I know that story. Um, okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So let's make uh, Davia the youngest daughter of some other character. Um, but uh, we'll just put a member. Well, what if what if she's the youngest daughter of the Marquise Max the con the conjurer? What if she's her? What if she's related to him? I or them? I want uh, Marky Maxwell the Conjurer to um, be gay, so All right. he it does not he has uh, no children, but he might uh, have a part. Right. He might have a partner. So what if um, she's what if she's his adopted daughter? Hmm. All right, you know I, that actually <laughs> is not a bad idea. <laughs> but you know why would she be outside of the city on a caravan? That's what I'm saying. Is he needs to be something that That's needs. That's true. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, I do yeah. like I do like adoptive daughter, and maybe, maybe. Oh, I know. Uh, Maxwell is her godfather, or some other. Yes, you know. Yes. Yeah. Godfather work. Uh, yeah, goddaughter, or we'll come up with a different. 
Also, it kind of makes more sense that she's kind of like a farmer's personal. Yeah. daughter. But a or personal like a, friend. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. Of uh, Maxel, the conjurer. Uh, yeah, uh, like of a of a maybe a favored merchant or something. Because uh, again, the caravan would need to have a reason to travel. You know, a farmer out, is not going to travel very far outside. You know, the safety of the the city walls, especially in an area where they've heard that gnolls are are attacking caravans. So it had to be someone who isn't would be a part of a traveling caravan. Uh, and had to travel for some reason. So a member of the High Council would travel, um, uh, or or a merchant, a merchant's family maybe had to travel. I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, maybe the, uh, she is the the goddaughter or some other uh, uh, whatever name, I, other word I can come up with that kind of goes along in, in the world. Did that make sense? Um, of Maxwell, and that's why he's so invested in getting her back. Uh, how old is she? Let's decide on that. Uh, a five pops into my head. Just I don't know why. Just... Okay. Uh, has what color hair? Uh, brown. Curly. It's most curly brown. Brown. Nine. Hair. Nine's not a bad age. Nine, nine's a. Nine would be sturdier. I would think would probably survive longer than a five-year-old. Yeah. I don't know why that's not letting me double click but nine years old has curly brown hair and um big brown eyes oh i miss her already um perfect okay davia but we'll come up with a member of the high council too her her soon okay and a big bushy beard <laughs> She is not a dwarf. <laughs> She's a human. <laughs> Maybe that's a twist. There's a twist. A Let's go back to oh. our twist. <laughs> um, okay, so if the uh, Null Pack Lord, if the twist is he's really working for someone else, who is he working for? And if it's starving, why why did they sacrifice? Uh, why did they want to sacrifice the child? So let's say that it's not because they're starving. Let's say it's to sacrifice the child because they're working for some crazy. Where's Ryland? Necromancer. Necromancer. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, an oh. evil necromancer named what? Oh, we're gonna have to go back over. <laughs> Ryland. I'm happy to do that. Ryland. Yeah, yeah it's gotta be Ryland. The Necromancer's got a name, Ryland. Named Ryland. And uh, I like that. Ryland now has a uh, Noel Pack Lord working for him. He's an evil necromancer. I love it. Poor Davia. Poor Davia. I hope they save her. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, I don't want to play wow. this game. <laughs> wow, the, uh, the, um, the necromancer name generator gives gives like titles. Okay, and so like uh, the the extinguisher, the corpse maker. Oh, the corpse maker is pretty good. All right. Uh, let's see. The plague bringer. Like so, it's 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 first name and then title. Yeah. So like like Rylan the carver, Ooh. Rylan the the soul keeper, Rylan Dolly the corpse die. maker. <laughs> You want to do Corpse Maker or do something else? I like I like Corpse Maker. All right, Rylan the Corpse Maker, <laughs> who uh, plans to use her soul. Soul? Do they use souls? What are they? I don't even. I've never played a necromancer. What do necromancers do? Uh, and, and we're gonna have to have a conversation if you don't know what a. <laughs> I don't. I mean, no I mean, souls? I mean, okay. I mean, I love you and I count you as my friend. But... If you've been playing D and D this long, and you don't know what a necromancer does. I don't. Got, I've never played you, a necromancer. <laughs> you, you sweet, sweet summer child. You. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't so, know. So, so, so here's what necromancers do. I need a They're drink. They're very yeah. aggressive clerics. They're very aggressive late stage cleric. Late stage. I knew late stage cleric. They're just late clerics. Yes, I, I, yeah. I get, I get all those jokes, but I don't know. Like, 
I don't know their purpose. Like, why? What? Why do they do what they do? I know they serve. Okay. They probably well, serve so, Merkel. They serve Merkel, right? I know that. Yeah, or um, some of However them serve. Pronounced. Some of them serve. Mm. Uh, uh, who's the one? Vecna. Vecna. Few yeah, of them serve I can Ve see Vecna. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> we him. He's here. We are in so Thanks. much trouble. Hide your children. Hide your adoptive daughter's devias. <laughs> Hide your children. <laughs> it's Rylan the corpse maker. Uh, that was Rylan the corpse maker. <laughs> Hide me. <laughs> See, this is why what you get when you're not here in the in the chat uh, during three sheets one shot. All right, the Lord of Bones, old. The old Lord Skull and the Reaper. Ooh, I was gonna look, I was gonna look to see how it's pronounced, Merkel. Okay, let's take a bet. Let's take a bet on who's pronouncing the, the word. I don't know. I, I I was looking to see what how it was pronounced, but now oh, I don't see. Oh, is there no see. pronunciation for it? Oh. I have to go to the uh, the uh, Necromite, but there's no pronunciation near that one either. So I don't know. Weird. <laughs> what a world. <laughs> The rangers because he makes friends wherever they go. <laughs> well, see, that's what. <laughs> yeah, and Choku, but there's a different, but it's a different kind of make. Yeah, a little bit. So yeah, but Rylan, is it Mer or Mir? Miracle. Like, is it... I really hope it's not Miracle. Rylan, who do you serve? <laughs> oh my. We have gone down a dark, deep tunnel here. It can't be Miracle. It can't be Miracle. It can't be Miracle. And my wife, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's true. What are you Merkel. talking about, Rylan? You're Merkel. serving your cats. Merkel Whip. Maybe Mer maybe Merkel Whip. <laughs> we, have, uh, we have digressed. So, we have um, a three to four player adventure uh, of that the Marquis which is the head of the High Council of Maston has sent our party to rid uh, the lands of this evil Knoll Pack Lord. <clears throat> and it's really come to a head because apparently they have captured a human child, Davia, the youngest daughter but, of a member of the High don't Council. Tell nobody. That's a twist. <laughs> uh, who is the goddaughter or some variation thereof of Maxel. Uh, she's nine, has curly brown hair, big brown eyes, and she's being held captive. And another plot twist is that the Null Pack Lord is really working for an evil necromancer named Rylan the Corpse Maker. <laughs> uh, this is great. This is perfect. I will have this ri uh, rewritten into uh, story form and available to all my patrons on uh, in PDF form. And this is going to be fantastic. This is great. Oh, what are we didn't do our uh, fat loots? What's our reward? What are what? Oh. What is the marquee gonna give our intrepid adventurers? Ha ha! I said it, Beaufort. Uh, as a reward for for bringing back his his little goddaughter. What do you think? Oh, just I would imagine that a wizard would have a uh, a very poor concept of like material, of material wealth. Worth. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're and right. And so he would just like. Like I, I ran a I ran a one shot uh, for a charity campaign a little while ago, uh, a couple months back, and at the end of it, the mage who they helped just had no idea of what anything was worth. So he just the, it was a gnome. He just dragged a bag as oh, big no. as he was and just dropped it off of a balcony, and it was just full of like silver and gold and, and Holy copper coins. Holy cow! Holy cow! A fiver. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand souls of the skulls of the dead enemies. <laughs> Friendship. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we going to give our level ones? Um, well, they're level ones, so they can't have a yeah, whole lot. they can't have a lot. Maybe. Uh, well, they'll, they'll probably need some healing, so some healing potion. Afterward or give them before? Afterward to the ones who survive. One? Okay, so... 1d4 platinum and 1d 100 plus 21 copper why why those numbers why rylan a nice crisp high five a roll for it lowest magic level chart roll for it or rotate 
that the DM can roll it. Okay. Because random chaos. Okay, I, I can see that. Alright, so... <clears throat> so, I'll have uh, the lowest... Is there a word for that? I don't know. How do you go... Do you look that on D&D Beyond? Or where do you find that? I keep I mean, opening I mean. this other window and I don't mean to. By the way, those are the Raven's Pride Archers. Don't look at that. Um, okay, so... Yeah, Anchoku, you unsee that. Yeah, unsee that, Anchoku. That's oh, they he's he's already had to help with the Raven's Pride uh, archers. Oh, okay. They're they're helping him uh, because he's fallen overboard a couple times. Magic items. They went and saved him on in a little skiff off off the Raven's Pride. Uh, give them a Robar sack of reclaimed weaponry. Oh, okay. Hang on, let me open that. Robar sack of reclaimed weaponry. Hold on, I'm clicking on it. I don't know why I click on links that people send. Wondrous item rare. While scavenging the battlefield, several weapons in disrepair present themselves. Rather than let them go to waste, the wheels begin to turn and a sack of weapons is created. Okay. All right. Oh, so, okay. I know what this is. You just are given a sack and you just start hurling random weapons okay. at... At your it's your homebrew all right all right you got it uh, i'll do that let me put that uh, link on my story since you gave that to me and that will be what the reward is perfect plus some gold i like it i like it too and uh, 1d i don't know what do you think 1d 12 gold Monday twelve. I I feel as if the twelve sided dice is a very underutilized. I, I know. Dice I really need to use the one d twelve once in a while. So this is a good way to do it. One d twelve plus twenty gold. What do you think? Is that enough to take out a pack lord, and maybe you know get the thanks uh, and the benefit of having a friend in the Grand Pooba or whatever we're calling him, the Marquis. The conjurer of the High Council of Maston, which is a pretty powerful arcane city in Amonra, so I think that's a good that's a good deal. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm like very just, to be on, just to be on speaking there. terms. Exactly. Just yeah. So what do we get? Let's name this title. The last thing we do tonight. Let's name. Let's title this this adventure. Um, everyone, come on. A trick within a trick. I like that. That's a good title. Someone else. Someone else. Come up with a good title. We have t through two minutes. Quick. I, will, I, I think I think Dave's gonna have the the best name. Let, let's see what let's see what. Dave... Kajari, it's snowing in Memphis. Yeah, well, it's like sixty here, so it's raining. Um, it's tricky. That's I like that. It's tricky. It's tricky. What else? Um, no, uh, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Um, no, there's no, there's no uh, place like home. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, okay, all right. Let me, I'll write that down. Uh, maybe secretly on the council. Hi, Rainick. All right. Oh, listen. I don't know what. Uh, I mean, my sound didn't go off either. He's waiting in the foyer by the bureau with his Lego. What? <laughs> You, you didn't hear it because uh, it's you don't hear it's Sir Mimsy, but uh, that's oh. Rainix breathing. It's hysterical. Um, oh. He took forever to give me a suggestion for his, because he's a patron at the Elder Plus level, so he gets a, a personalized greeting from Sir Mimsy. He never got back to me, so I just threw that. It's sort of an inside joke, but I had Jimmy do a bunch of new voices for me last weekend, and so he did that one. Um, functional knowledge. Okay. Uh, two knolls and a trench coat. You know... Actually, functional knowledge is not a bad title for this one shot because a lot of stuff we don't know going into it. I, I genuinely like functional knowledge. I like it too. Name. Why not? I look forward to the the uh, the Banana Brothers having to fight this. <laughs> They're already past this level, so I don't know if we're going to do that. And our subtitle would be... Um, uh, it's not uh, just it's not, two it's not me, it's you in a trench coat. How about that? Oh. All right. 
and then we'll summarize I'll summarize it and I'll get this to my uh, uh, as bonus content in a PDF form after I finish editing it and it'll be available to all my patrons so thank you so much everybody for joining me tonight on the premiere the new season premiere of three sheets one shot with Joe thank you Joe so much for joining me tonight this was fun it is my esteemed pleasure to be here <laughs> now uh, I think it was great thank you are you gonna be here next week or do I have to find a co-host next week I, I will be here. Yes. Come hell or high water. Um, <laughs> awesome. Joe has it. Uh, sometimes has work issues. and may not be able to make it, but I do have some co-hosts lined up just in case he can't make it. But next week we will have Joe. And um, don't forget that I have um, a, a weekly lineup now. Monday. Join me Monday for um, Curious Crafts with my producer, Clover. And then, of course, D&D &D with the Banana Brothers on Tuesday and Aunt Anne's Tree on Wednesday. I want to shout out to Rylan and Dave for being a part of that on this past Wednesday. Made a cute little bear ornament for Valentine's Day. Um, and if you're interested at all in becoming a patron, now is the time because you'll automatically be entered at any level into winning this dice bag and these beautiful diehard dice. Uh, the the golem the swamp golem. Uh, what a, what about the uh, what about the miniature giveaway? Where are we at with that? You know what? what? We never got to that. You're right. We never got to that. That that should be one of the drawings. Absolutely. Sure. I will put it. Sure. I, I don't, it's way do. over there. I am tethered right now. But next week I will put it a picture of it on the screen, and we will definitely use a beautiful mini that Joe painted as one of our giveaways for that. That is a great idea. Thank you, Joe, for reminding about that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, not what I'm having, Riley. <laughs> I'd call it a day. It's a beautiful mini. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, so let's go to our thank you screen. And who should we raid tonight? We should definitely uh, raid. Cell, Cell is. Uh, but Nerdsmith, I don't know. I don't see any Nerdsmith on my list. I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to go over to and look on my list for. I have to make sure I have. Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, no, Joe, um, in fact... I, yeah, I, Joe's going to be fixing one here in a little yeah, bit. Joe, yeah, Joe, we had a minor, <laughs> a, I say we, minor accident with... Um, yeah, we had a minor, I say we, minor accident Oh, why oh, he does that? Um, I had to turn it off because it was coming through my screen again. Um, I do? I make quality drinks? Yeah, quality drinks. Um, I don't know why my... Oh, it's because I had... Uh, the I'll have to cut you off a second. Desktop audio is on. That's why. Okay, hang on. If you talk, Joe, they can't hear you. So hang on. Um, Joe is actually gonna have to repair and repaint Beaufort's mini, because <laughs> I went to go take him off the. Can you hear that? I'm being quiet. I'm trying to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> let's go raid Cell, because I don't see anyone from <laughs> Nerdsmith on right now. So let's go raid Cell. <laughs> and I will see you guys next Monday. Thank you so much. Good night. Mm.